Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to start the process by creating a list. And what you'll do is you will go inside of your Aweber dashboard. You will go to click the link that says manage lists. And what you'll see here is you'll see a green button that says create a list and you will go and click that button. Now in most cases, Aweber will pre-fill information in here, but you can actually change this information. So if you are going to be operating under a specific brand, you can go ahead and write that brand in here. So let's go ahead and do that now, as well as the company website. Now Aweber requires that you put a return address in your emails. They will pre-populate that information based on what's in your billing. Now, if you want to use a different address, you'll need to click this button and then you'll need to change the information. Once you do that, you will then write that address in and then you will save the information. Now, Aweber is going to ask you what sender name and email address that you want to use. And in general, what you're going to do is you're going to write in a sender name and when you write in the sender email, you want to avoid using emails like Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo. You want to use a server address email or an email address that you created with your domain name. Now, another thing that you'll want to do that will enhance your deliverability is you want to make sure that this sender email is not something like admin or support. You don't want to use generic names. If possible, you want to use a proper name. Now, there is going to be another step based on the email address that you're going to put here, specifically if you're going to be using an email that you have control of through your domain name. But now, once you have all of the information in, the address you're going to be using, as well as the name and sender name, you can go ahead and click Next Step. Aweber will require you to give your list a name, but typically your customer will not see the name of this list or this explanation unless they choose to unsubscribe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to describe the list and then give it a name and we're going to keep it brief. As you can see here, you can only use 400 characters. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. So once you've done that, you are going to then click next step. Now, Aweber has certain pre-approved subject lines, and you can use any of these subject lines that you feel is going to be most appropriate. Now, they will allow you to request approval for a custom subject line. Now, once you actually write the subject line in, Aweber will take time to approve it. In the meanwhile, what they'll use is they'll use one of the default subject lines that are at the top when you first sign in. So we're going to go ahead and click cancel so that we can see these back and we're just going to choose the first one. Now we can also make changes to the confirmation. And so what we can do is we can then make sure that this message or this part of the message says what we want it to say. Now we want to keep this part brief. We don't want to make this a long drawn out paragraph. We want it to be brief so that it spells out exactly what your client is going to be getting when they sign up for your email list. In fact, you'll notice here that this says receive email from manage your list with a Weber. We might want to restate that to be a little more natural. Okay. But again, we don't make too many changes and we don't make that very long. We can also insert personalization. So in other words, one of the things that we can do is we can actually add in information that will personalize based on the information that is collected. So when your client actually comes and they sign up for your list and they use their first name, we can actually customize that information so that it says their first name and then they'll see the message. So all we would do here is we would click one of these buttons and this will actually personalize the message so that it will say the person's first name and then give them the actual message. And this can sometimes help you with issues of deliverability. But again, that's optional. You don't have to do anything with this information. In fact, you can decide to delete out the information, click the edit button. And you'll notice that that personalization is no longer in this space. We can actually edit the signature and we can put in here a salutation or title. And then once we've done 
then all we'll need to do is then we'll need to click this approve message button and then we will then be creating our list now the only thing that really needs to be confirmed will be this subject line if you choose to change it so we are actually approving the message and then creating the list and once you've created the list you'll notice here at the top that aweber will be working on that particular list and all of the menu fields that we'll be working with will apply to the things that are going to be associated with this one list. If we want to change the list that all of these menus are going to be associated with, all you have to do is use this drop down arrow and then you can choose the list that you actually want. Okay, so we have now created the first list and we will now move on to some of the menu items. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.